Hi all, I have another very entertaining attacking game to show you from Thomas Kaz this time. This is straight off the Leela, Leela Chess forums which I recommend you visit and if you create any games for Leela check out the more games for commenting and I might even pick them up for doing videos here. So Thomas describes this as wonderful attacking chess. Was he right? Let's have a look. So Leela ID 11149 against Stockfish 7. So let's see what happens when those two meet. Uh, the hardware GTX 1080 uh, for Leela and Stockfish on uh, four cores. Time control, two minute game with a one second increment per move. The opening book, this is the opening book uh, position, the French defense. E5, I think this is the end of the book here. Now we have Knight E7, which is an alternative to C5, a major alternative uh, in the winnow variation. So the winner are usually is c5 and black gives up the bishop. And it's an interesting uh, dynamic imbalanced position. So knight e7, a3, the bishop is given up here and similar. So c5, we have a4. Now this was a, I, I remember in Fisher games he's often played a4 to get this bishop on this diagonal, sensitive diagonal. An alternative which is more main line is queen g4 it seems. Uh, this line, for example, has been seen in many, many uh, chess games. This line here, where um, it's thought to be about even. But a4 is very interesting. We have queen a5, bishop d2, knight bc6, knight f3, queen c7, bishop e2. It looks as though white's play is very modest. Is Lila really going to do something exciting from here? b6 is played. Uh, now. White castles, bishop b7, rook e1, and now c4 closing the position, releasing the tension. Bishop c1, as though the bishop might be interested in bishop a3, that diagonal later. Black here castles. And interestingly, uh, Leela plays knight g5. You might think, what's the point of knight g5? Well, it does immediately stop f6 because of e6. It's also tempting black to kick that pesky knight back. Would that be with a penalty or not though? We have queen d7. And now it becomes even more annoying, bishop h5, looking at f7. And you could imagine, hold on a sec, what about queen f3 then and bishop a3? This could be really annoying on f7. So it's here that Stockfish decided enough is enough. I'm kicking this pesky knight back with h6. If, for example, uh, rook a c8 not to touch these pawns. We can see a build up like this. If the black knight goes back to defend f7, not trying to touch the pawns. This could be an example game, for example here. And it starts to get nasty now uh, for black. Black's in a bit of a bind. So eventually, you know, black's going to want to kick this knight. So it's kicked earlier than later. It's kicked now. The knight goes back to h3, which doesn't interfere with the backward movement of the bishop, the reverse gear. Uh, and you might think, hold on a sec, what, what is the big deal about this position? What has white achieved? <laughs> what would you play with white if you're a mad hacker attacking player? If, if I give you five seconds to pause the video, white play. Okay, <laughs> g4. The knight g5 achieved a lot going to h3. We've got this lever to rip open the g-file. We've got a dark square bishop without a counterpart. Uh, so this looks like it's brewing for something very nice. Black can't even play f6 without losing g6 here. We have knight h4, g5 here. So the g-file is ripped open, semi-open g-file, pressure on g7. The knight is wasting time going back. Queen g4, white starting to build up now on that g file. King h1, the rooks are going to join the queen in the fun on the g file. Knight f5, knight f4, putting pressure on g6. That defensive piece is taken out of the equation. Bishop takes f4. b5, is Leela worried by this queenside play? Not really. Rook g1, <laughs> just, just, just the g file is the central focus here now. a6, we have bishop g5 with the threat Bishop f6. This looks dangerous to say the least. King h7, queen h3. Nasty things are threatened. Knight h6. 
uh, just to show on the board if b4 bishop g6 double check is chat mating so knight h6 it seems as though <laughs> this is again a picture chess postcard if you if you want to instagram this position this is another beautiful one either here or coming soon on the g file rook g4 just building up the pressure knight takes is played uh, I mean if it's not taken out of the equation then we just double the rooks and then rook h4 you can imagine the carnage here for example like this checkmate as an example so knight takes it's already pretty helpless for the black king and the black king its fate is sealed this bishop as we've seen in many other leader game examples does a great job of being a form bishop which is turning into a form pawn here bishop f6 if black dared to take then we have the dreaded form pawn form pawn form bishop <laughs> and we've also seen four knights recently so this is a new range of flavors in the king's crusher branding of Leela. <laughs> yes okay so form bishop if it's taken if it's taken we get a form pawn with queen h6 coming up to mate on g7 form bishop is very dangerous black plays queen e7 it's yes a sign of desperation Leela's not interested in taking the queen bishop f5 threatening mate is played e takes if g6 then then there's queen h8 forget taking the queen so e takes rook g1 threatening rook g7 mate queen takes and the game has ended here it could have been carried on a little bit e takes form pawn g6 queen h6 uh, and then mating is a logical conclusion well, I'll put you at game end again so I thought this was a sweet little game I just noticed that on the leader forums gave it a playthrough <laughs> thought I'd share it with you here <laughs> thanks Thomas Kaz so he described it I, I'll tell you his full description now wonderful attacking chess open g file massacre <laughs> that's that was his description really so thanks Thomas for that bit of morning entertainment comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much